Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking apart the brand new iPhone 4S. It's a bit different than the previous model of the iPhone 4. Uh, I will be giving you step-by-step -step instructions as far as how to take apart and put back together the iPhone 4. This is the phone coming out of the box. It's brand new. I will go ahead and use the Pentalope screwdriver, which is provided by Zetron when you purchase our kits online at www.zetron.com. Just go ahead and turn off the phone if you're going to be doing any sort of repairs or if you want to just take apart the phone for the heck of it. Um, so you go ahead and unscrew the two bottom screws that are on the bottom here. There's one screw and there's a second screw. place the screws aside somewhere. I suggest that you put them in a certain order where it will help you remember where the screws go because there's a lot of screws inside of the phone and if you don't put them in, in a certain order you might forget where each screw goes. So after you remove those two screws on the bottom you just slide off the back cover. You've got to provide a little bit of force and it comes right off when you slide it up. And just go ahead and place the back cover aside. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's a bit different from the previous model. It's more similar to the Verizon version than the AT&T, but this is the AT&T version that we have here. You just start off by disconnecting the battery. There's two screws for the battery. There's one right there. There's another one right there. These are magnetic screwdrivers that are also included in the kits when you purchase them from Ztron.com. After you have removed those two screws that hold the battery in place, you use one of the pry tools that come with the kit and just pry open the battery. And just move it aside. And there's a little protector here that you move aside as well. After you have done so, you just pull this little tab here battery is going to come right out of place. After you have done so, you go ahead and remove the two screws over here which hold the charging port and the dock. After you take those screws off, you just go ahead and pry off the connector. It's probably better to do it on this side, some more room. And you just peel it off. It's glue, just be gentle when you're peeling it off. It is glue, but you could still damage the flex if you're not careful while you're taking it off. <clears throat> After you have done so, you could just go ahead and disconnect the charging port. There's two screws. There's one there, and there's another one over there. Just remove both of those screws. After you do that, you just disconnect this cable over here. It's just plugged in. All you have to do is basically put the pry tool in there and just pry it open. That. Then you take it off here. Go ahead and take the charge port off. After you do that, you go ahead and move over to the screws that we have over here. There's one, two, three, four, five screws that need to come off up on top. And that's where all the cables are. If you're, you know, if you're changing the digitizer or the LCD or any of the flex cables for the power buttons or the proximity sensors, they're all underneath this metal panel that we have here. When you slide it up, it's going to come out of place over here towards the bottom. There's two clips here, and then you just lift it up. And just when you're taking it off, be careful with the flex cable. You just kind of slide it out and try not to damage that cable. It comes right off. I'm going to put it aside. And then we're going to move on to the cables that we have here. There's the, cam the camera cable, and then we have the digitizer and the LCD cables that are over here. So we're going to go ahead and use the pry tool and pry off the cables. There's one cable.
Put that aside. side and there's one more right underneath there Just take that off then we're gonna pry off the camera just come right off after you take that off what you do is you move on to there's a little piece over here I'm gonna show you up close it's right there you just use a pry tool as well and you kind of stick it underneath and you like pick it up like and you're going to feel it come right off and just move it aside basically it's protecting there's another screw that's underneath there and you should be careful while you're taking it out it comes out it looks like this just move it aside and then you're going to want to use a flat head in order to take off this screw here the flathead is also included in the kit. So basically the kit gives you everything you need in order to take apart and put back together the iPhone 4. And like I said earlier in the video, all the stuff could be found on www.ztron.com. And all the screwdrivers are magnetic. And I'm going to go ahead and move the screw aside. And there's another one of those screws that are all the way down over here on the bottom, right next to the vibrating module. And you're going to want to go ahead and use that flathead to take that screw off as well. that and there's that other screw it's a bit different than the other one so like I said you want to put them in some sort of order so then when you're putting the phone back together you know where each screw is because all these screws are different sizes and then I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take off the screws over here on the motherboard there's one here that's one of the screws and the other screw is hidden with a warranty sticker that's all the way up here you basically just peel off the warranty sticker you're gonna see it come right off like that and you're gonna find one more screw that's right there after you remove the warranty sticker you just go ahead and take the Phillips screwdriver and you're gonna take off that screw that's right there I'm gonna go ahead and take that screw out right now side after you do that since the new iPhone 4s uh, doesn't come with the tool in order to take out the sim tray you can go ahead and use the pencil up screwdriver and you could just stick it in there and it'll come right out it's basically the same exact size as that tool was and we're gonna go ahead and take the sim card out place it aside after you have done so there is one more screw that you need to take off which is right here in order to lift the motherboard. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put this screw aside as well. I'm going to use the pry tool in order to uh, take off this cable that's right over here. You're going to go to the right side. There's a little room there. It's going to let you unplug the cable basically. I'm going to hold down the motherboard so it doesn't get damaged and it comes right off. There's another screw that's over here but there's no need to take that screw out if you're just changing the screen or any of the buttons I'm gonna go ahead and slide out the motherboard now it should come right out it's right there and there's one other piece that's over here that's gonna that, that's under the sticker you wanna go ahead and place it aside so you can put it back after and this is the motherboard looks similar to the old one but it's a bit different this is the vibrating module over here. It's on glue, so you can just kind of wiggle it around a little bit. And after you do so, just be gentle with it. Uh, you can stick the pry tool underneath, and it should just come right off. After you do so, there are six screws. It's one, two, three. On the other side, there's also one, one, Two and three. They all, they all, all six of them come with washers. Just go ahead and take those six screws out. 
after you take out those six screws, there's four more screws in order to take go out uh, before you could actually lift off the screen. There is one over here. There is one in that corner. There is one in that corner over there. And there is one that's underneath a uh, protective film. That's on the upper left side. So you just move the film down. And once you move the film down, the other screw is going to appear. It's right there. Right over there. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew those four screws. Then you're going to use the pry tool and uh, gently stick it into the side of the screen and kind of slide it up to the top and you want to like wiggle it a little bit until it lifts off and just go around and kind of like the screen is going to just come right off there is an adhesive film that's underneath it so it's there's a little glue on there but if you gently take it out going to be fine and these are the cables that we have the LCD and the digitizer cable they're going to just come out right from over there you got to gently take it out right out of there I'm going to go ahead and place this aside and you basically took off the screen and you know if you want to go ahead and place a new screen you just go ahead and install the new screen on from here now this is what it looks like We will have frames available online as well, along with uh, full kits with front and back and different color conversion kits. Everything can be found on www.ztron.com. Uh, we also do offer professional um, color swap service along with repairs where you send in the phone to us and we fix it for you and usually ship it back within 24 hours with FedEx overnight shipping.